Hey y'all, it's Shawana with My Reality Crafts. I'm here today with a Timu haul, but it is a sponsored haul. Um, I recently signed up with their uh, influencer program. I mean, I know, I only have like 200 and something <laughs> subscribers, but they let me in, so I'm going to run with it. Um, anyway, there'll be... I'm going to try to put the link for the influencer program down in the description box um just give it a try if you if you're interested in it and you have a youtube channel or an instagram page um just give it a try that's what i did i just signed up thinking you know they're not going to accept me but at least i'll find out what i need to do you know how big i need to get or whatever and i got in so anyway just give it a try if you're interest, interested um, they've also provided for me the links for the items that I purchased. Um, I'm not going to bother with prices because they change so often. But um, anyway, um, all of these things were already in my cart. So I didn't do a lot of searching around and, and wondering what I was going to get. They were already in my cart. I just went there, you know, and loaded it up. So anyway, I'm going to, you know, go through that with you. Uh, firstly, I purchased these shoes, which normally I don't wear shoes like this that don't require, even though I don't always untie my shoes, they don't require you to, um, to, uh, untie the shoes. Like they're these slip-in kinds. Oops, too close. Um... Because I don't, I don't wear shoes without socks, and I don't like the socks getting pulled super tight whenever you try to slip your foot in. I just got this box yesterday, but I did try these on yesterday, and they fit me. Um, I can see I have a, a wide foot, so I went up half a size from eight and a half to nine. Um, I can see they need to relax a little bit, but it wasn't as bad as. Some other times I've tried to wear slip-on shoes. So, I'm excited to see how these work out. Um, the one thing I can say, the bottom isn't super, super... I work at a hospital. I'm not a nurse or anything like that. But I do enough walking that I need some really comfy soles on my shoes. These are not shoes I would wear to work for a day. You know, for all day walking but I could see myself going shopping in these for a couple hours you know what I mean so that's the one thing about that but you know I love that color these are <clears throat> I got for the craft room to wear in the craft room because a lot of days I'll come home straight from work and come straight in here and um, for yo those of you that don't know my craft room is in a shed in the backyard so you know it's not like I can just walk down the hall and change out of my uniform and you know change to some more com comfortable shoes so I wanted something I could keep out here and change into and just kind of be comfy for the time that I'm out here because um, I'm usually during the week I'm usually not out here for more than a couple hours anyway so that's what I got these for I did I put them back in the packaging for this video. I had them out wearing them. So, anyway, let's get to the crafty stuff. So, first of all, let me just show this. Um, I know I put this in my cart. I meant to take it out. But it's just, I mean, it's still something that I was going to purchase. Um, a metallic craft work pen. It's a water-based low older <clears throat> excuse me I purchased this or I picked this because I'm gonna start using uh, playing around with my uh, wax seals soon I'm all out of frame I'm sorry y'all I'm gonna start playing around with my wax seals soon and um, I've seen some people use metallic uh, pins and stuff on their wax seals and then um, these are some magnets. These are, let me get it right. These are one millimeter thick 
and nine millimeters wide in diameter. Um, I also ordered some from Amazon for, which is where I usually get them from. Those are 16 millimeters. So I don't have one here to show you because I'm totally out. That's why I went ahead and, and got them. Um, but they're almost twice as big. And those are the ones that, you know, I would use for like making an album or something like that. But the smaller ones definitely have their use also. Let me put this back. Um, I picked these up. Uh, these focal beads. Oops, silicone focal beads. Because I was going to make some, or I am going to make some beaded pins for my co-workers. Uh, for spring Spring snuck up on me. It's what starts Tuesday. I think Tuesday or Wednesday, so I got to get on the ball But yeah, that's what these are and they'll fit Hopefully they'll fit really nicely on my beatable pins. I don't have one This one Oh yeah, they'll fit. So, yeah, that'll be good. And I'll probably order some more because these are really, really cute. Now this I'm a little dis disappointed in and I don't know, I didn't really read the description so I don't know if the description said there's only one focal bead in here. But there's only one focal bead in here. And that's this one. Which I was hoping to get a few, but this will do for the one I have to make before the end of the month for a person for a friend's birthday. But I was really hoping to get more of these, so I'll probably go in and buy more just by a set if I can find it. But I do like these other beads that that are in, <clears throat> included. I like these, so I'll probably go and buy. I probably go and buy sets separately because without excuse me more focal beads you know it don't really work out for me but anyway that's that I should have put a, a pin together to show you but maybe later um, I also got this punch the only thing about this I mean I love it it worked perfectly but it's misleading the way it looks to me it was misleading to me is that you would get two pieces uh, not two pieces you would get a big piece and you fold it in half which is kind of why I picked it but you don't you just get the little piece which is fine for what I need it for it's fine but it's a little misleading to me <clears throat> it comes without, um, I think I tossed the package already. It comes without the little cover here. I, it looks like it should have had a cover, but I didn't have one. And that's fine for me because I usually take mine off anyway. And it has the little lock here. So that you don't have to keep it wide open all the time. And this, this is 110 pound paper that I use so <clears throat> and it it cut beautifully all right so I also bought some or bought I also received some um, dies that I had, had picked some dies that had been in my buggy for a while and <clears throat> this one is the bunny bag I guess I should take it out and show you on this one since it's pink Let's see. this die and this die make up the bag and then here's the bunny with the eyes and bows and all that stuff so, really simple to put together, which is good.
and I put one together. You get all this. You get the little cover to go around the uh, the hole up here. You get the bunny. You get the bow. And I liked it. It was it it cut very the set cut very well. Um, I didn't have to go back and recut anything or add any shims or anything like that. Did really good. I mean, I can't ask for anything more. So that was that one. And then I got this one, which is a banner die. And I cut a few of the extra pieces out, but I wanted to keep this super uh, simple and quick. So I didn't go overboard trying to layer this up and build it up. Um, it comes with the die, um, the die. It comes with the uh, base banner and layering pieces for the banners, the banner pennants, I think that's what they're called, and then layering pieces for the bows, and it has some hearts. I don't know what these circles are. They may have been trash, but I don't know, so I kept them in there, um, and I didn't try to cut them or anything, but this is what I put together with that bow, with that die set. Um, cut very well it's very nice the only thing I did I did notice and I don't know if this if it's me or if it's the die but there's several places uh, like around these uh, banner like you can see here around these banner things there's like stitching and also on this around these pieces they're stitching but when I cut I don't actually see the stitching so much okay so I don't know if that's me y'all can tell me in the comments is it me do I need to do something different or is that just that the the uh, die isn't cutting deep enough I don't know y'all I don't know I don't usually go for oops for dies that have a lot of pieces, but I could tell this was pretty simple, you know. Um, unlike one you'll see in a, in a moment. Uh, not this one. <laughs> this die, I also picked, and again, like I said, I'm just trying to keep all this simple, get it done so I can get the video up and put my dies away. Um, but this one is, oh, I got them. That's fine. Um, lips, they have layering pieces. This is a layering piece. This is a layering piece. Um, and I even use that inner piece right here. I don't know if you're supposed to, but I did. Um, and then the, it has the lip gloss or lipstick this is uh, here the layering pieces with layering pieces for the head I think this is an extra head here maybe I don't know it's also got lips and whatever that is I don't know what that is and it also has words oh, smooch and kisses and it cut very well again. <clears throat> no problems. And finally, I picked up this. And I'm going to tell you what, I don't like it. <laughs> the die cut just fine. But this die is not for me. I'm fine with all the honey drips and this honey house. I can't remember what you call it. Honey... I don't know what you call it. Anyway, the honey pot and this honeycomb and these little stick things. But these little bees, as you can see, they look horrible. <laughs> because I'm not good at piecing tiny pieces. Okay? And, yeah, that, so it sucks. So, and then this die here cuts this out. I didn't poke all those, those, uh little pieces out but it just cuts that into the paper also these bees here I'm not sure you'll be able to see it 
but they cut a little uh, little lines that are supposed to show like the way the bee is traveling yeah I don't love it I don't love this this set I'll use it because like I said the honey drips and this thing here and the pot are gonna be very useful I have a, a bee themed swap that I've uh, signed up for so it, it'll be really useful but I don't like the little teeny tiny paper piece and stuff so we'll see how I get along but other than that I mean like I said it cut fine um, I did check <laughs> all the pieces that I saw in the picture are here because I've recently had a problem with that type of thing happening but other than that that is all I got I oops um, I hope you like this video. Um, I'm happy with everything that I purchased, you know, minus the couple of bees and minus missing, not missing something, but wishing there was more in here, but that's just me. I have bought a lot of stuff from Timu, a lot of dyes and, and beads and stuff like that. So I was not really surprised that I you know like everything that I got and then everything is in decent condition um, if you want to give them a try if you've never uh, tried them before there's a link in the description um, there's also a code in the description it's my code I don't honestly I can't tell you what it is without looking it up but um, if you want to use it fine if not go to timu.com and go in that way however you want to do it but um if you want to try it and you want to get the the code is for like some type of discount or whatever but it's only for people who have never shopped there before so keep that in mind anyway i've rambled on and on um and i've shown you everything so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video bye